What's up, guys? It is Rub My Nut, and I am here with Omni Phillips. I'm scared, Richard. I'm scared. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 3. It finally oh, came out. This is oh, by far my favorite game oh. series. I'm, I'm and, cranking uh, the audio. Huh? I'm cranking the audio way up. <laughs> okay, that might be a bad choice. Oh. Just fair nah. warning. Oh, uh, I'm, but I'm, as I'm you can see, scream. <laughs> this game looks terrifying. Um, oh, yeah. Well, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game, but this one is way worse. There's only one animatronic chasing you, and there's hallucinations okay. and everything. The camera, oh. it has two sets of cameras, one in the vents uh -huh. and one in the regular motion. These okay. are your things that you have to watch. If you don't watch yeah. these, then you will die from either loss of ventilation, loss of camera, or loss of audio. And as you oh. can see, the squeaker also works on the poster still. He wow. made sure to keep that in the game. Oh, of course. Um, but the theme of this Five Nights at Freddy's is no longer a pizza place. It's actually a horror maze now. You, oh. Uh, you're playing as a security guard who activates everything, including uh -huh. the jump scares and everything else. But you don't jump right. scare yourself. You jump scare the people who are going through the maze. Okay. And uh, Scott Cawthron, I think is his name, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, actually made sure to include the mini games that you saw in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, he, cool. he made sure to keep them in there, but you play as the animatronics this time. What? And as you can see, I am following the purple Freddy. Which, uh, -huh. uh there is a big, uh, rumor going around about Purple Guy. Purple Guy is a very famous Five Nights at Freddy character. And as uh -huh. you can see, it says an error, and when I try to run away, the Purple Guy oh. actually kills me. So the Purple Jesus. Guy has been confirmed real, and it That's... is absolutely a thing. But, wow. uh, then whenever I was trying to look at the cameras, I realized to the right of the screen of the camera, yeah. there is, a uh, animatronic that is coming after me, and I can't remember his name, but he was uh -huh. just standing there, doing nothing, and you hear that noise? Yep. Look at that thing right there. See oh. that? That is oh. another animatronic. That is a f that is a foxy animatronic, I believe, that uh, does not attack you at the beginning of night two. I think it starts uh -huh. to come after you at night three. Uh -huh. But as you can see, my audio device started to error. Yep. And that sound you heard in the background was actually the reason why that thing was showing up was because of the audio error. And now uh, okay. that guy Whoa. is right there staring uh. at me. Uh, I hate that guy so much. He's the worst thing to see it's around It's so you. bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this game was a lot of fun, and the, oh, did you see that? Yes. Oh, God. In case you didn't, there it was in slow motion. Oh, God. But uh, to get the thing away from you, you play sounds in other uh -huh. rooms. Like, if he's right. right next to you, like he is in the door frame in a second that you'll see yep. right there, uh -huh. you have to go to another room and play the audio. It'll okay. play a noise made from Balloon Boy, and he will chase after it. That's okay. the only way to get him away. There's no doors in this once again. Oh. And uh, here's the jump scare with Balloon Boy. Oh! It's freaking terrifying. I made sure to add a face cam, and then that thing killed me. By far <laughs> the most scary experience I've ever had in a game. But that is Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I'm going to be oh, sure to do some let's plays in this. <laughs>